I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, October 21st, 2022. Happy Friday, Kingston. A reminder, though, that Monday is the day that we head to the polls to vote for your local representation. The election for Kingston mayor, city councillors, and school board trustees will happen on October 24th, with polling stations open on Monday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you want to avoid lineups or you just don't want to leave the house, you can find that piece of mail that came from the city with your voting information on it, and you can vote online. However, you must be registered to vote online. You can also vote in advanced polls tomorrow from 9 until 5. Do yourself a favor, check out kingstonist.com for full details and profiles of your local candidates to get yourself educated about them before you cast your ballot. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and experts at Kingston Health Sciences Center's new Breast Imaging Kingston facility are encouraging all eligible individuals to book a mammogram after breast screening rates plummeted during the pandemic. Breast cancer is the most common cancer and second leading cause of cancer death for women, with one in nine women expected to develop some type of breast cancer in our lifetime. However, research shows that for every 200 mammograms performed, one person will be found to have breast cancer and early detection is the best way to catch the disease before it has a chance to spread. Speaking of health, Kingston Health Sciences Center has declared yet another COVID-19 outbreak at Kingston General Hospital after two patients and a staff member tested positive for the virus on Connell 3. The Connell 3 unit is typically used as a transitional support unit that cares for and supports patients who are transitioning from hospital life to other living arrangements. Meanwhile, COVID-19 outbreaks continue in other areas of KGH, including Connell 9, Connell 10 and Kid 7. The family of Kingston's Amy Haynes, who died suddenly on Sunday, October 2nd, will be hosting a very special Halloween-themed drive through food drive this Sunday, October 23rd, in her honour. Before her passing, Amy had volunteered with local food banks for more than 12 years, and every Halloween she would dress in a food-themed costume and go door-to-door -door collecting non-perishables for the food bank. Amy's family says that while the last few weeks have been heartbreaking, planning and continuing the upcoming food drive has helped them with their grief. The food drive drive through takes place this coming Sunday, October 23rd at 6 Edgewood Road in Loyalist Township from noon until 4 p.m. with all donations going directly to the Partners in Mission Food Bank. For more information and how to make larger donations or to arrange a pickup of items, you can check out the full story right now at kingstonist.com. And lastly, Kingston's Poet Laureate Jason Hero is heading up a pair of writing workshops aimed at getting Kingstonians' creative juices flowing and putting pen to paper. The sessions will happen at the Calvin Park branch of the Kingston Frontenac Public Library on November 12th and 29th, with both sessions being identical in content. And they're free, but you do have to pre-register. For more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.